So I'm just going to start out with some intro examples of how to use the product rule, the quotient rule, and the power rule for expanding logarithms. And we'll get into more complicated examples later, but I just wanted to start us out with these guys. So um, for this first example here, number one, it says expand the logarithm as a sum of logs. And I have this log base 8 of 13ky. And let's take this as our uh, property that I'm going to use here. Um, okay, so keep in mind, I'm. this doesn't necessarily refer to the variables x, y. It just means anything multiplied together. So I can rewrite this one here. Let's think about what's being multiplied together. Well, I've got uh, 13, right? 13 times k times y. So each of these things that's getting multiplied together becomes the argument of a new logarithm. When I make this into a sum, I'm expanding this logarithm into a sum. So that's going to be log of something. Well, let's make sure we get our base on there. It's log base 8 of something plus log base 8 of something uh, plus log base 8 of something. And the reason I've left three somethings is because I've got a 13 times a k times a y. Okay, so it's just this sum of three logarithms. Now let's try another example. It says expand the logarithm, and it shows ln, that's natural log, of 17 over km. So let's think about grabbing our quotient rule here, because this looks like I'm going to be using something involving fractions uh, and products. By the way, there's, there's a k and an m. There's a k and an m under there. See that? So it looks like there's something times themselves and something uh, divided by. So we can break this up one step at a time. I can say this is the natural log of 17. And then because this y is in the denominator, it gets a minus sign. Okay, so what's in the denominator? Km. So it's minus natural log of Km. Well, I can expand Km further. And this becomes natural log of 17 minus, okay, I'm going to put a big bracket here because there's stuff going inside there. What is this km thing, or natural log of km? That's the natural log of k plus the natural log of m. Okay, and since it's all inside a bracket with a minus sign on the outside, I can write that as natural log of 17 minus the natural log of k minus the natural log of m. And as you get more practice with these, you won't need to go through all these intermediate steps. You'll just be able to see that I've got a numerator right here, right? 17 was on the top. And these are both denominators. Denominate, denom, whatever. That's horrible spelling. I teach math. It's fine. Um, natural log 17 minus natural log K minus natural log, nog, log M. Okay, because K and M are denominators, they get these minus signs. All right, let's try another one. Expand the logarithm. Uh, log base 25 of 11 to the X plus 1. This looks like a power rule that we're going to use for this guy. So let's grab this function right here. Plop it down here so we can use it. Um, I need more room. Excuse me. Okay, so I've got something with an exponent. x plus 1 is my exponent. It's not just n. So I'm going to put that x, I'm going to put that x plus 1 out front. Right, That's my multiplier now. And what goes inside? Well, it's just that log 25 with an 11 in it. And yeah, maybe you could figure out what log base 25 of 11 is. right? But for right now, I'm just showing you how the power rule works. We bring that exponent from over here out in front, like that. 